All right, so for the intro for How About Us then, we are on a B flat chord at the third fret. So for the B flat chord, we're just holding down one finger at the third fret and we're covering the D string and the G string, just those two. And in the next bar, in bar two, even though the name of the chord has changed, which would be C minor seven flat five over B flat, a mouthful I know, but you can see the notes we're playing with the guitar part have not actually changed. So we're just keeping that one finger down for this whole time for the introduction and a lot of this is going to be the same reoccurring theme in the verses as well. So the rhythm is the hard part here because it's very funky, it's very syncopated. So we'll play the rhythm. It does stay the same on all the bars. So once you hear it a couple of times, it should be quite easy to play. So there's our two notes. And our rhythm would be like this. Three, four, one. Rest. One. Rest, third bar. Rest. So that would be our whole first line. We'll do that one more time. I'm picking all downs here. I'm hitting the D and the G string. Down. And the really important thing is that we're doing some nice muting. So you could do right hand muting, which would be putting your strumming hand down on the strings. But in this case, I'm doing left hand muting. So I'm applying pressure to my finger to sound the notes. And then when I want the notes to stop, I'm actually lifting up very slightly my my finger on the third fret. So I'm not taking it completely off the strings, just releasing the pressure enough to make the note stop. And I'm doing that after each strum. That way we get a nice controlled sound and our right hand's not having to do lots of extra work. If you don't lift it up, it sounds like this. So that was me strumming in the same places, but of course it doesn't have the same kind of effect that those short staccato notes. So staccato is the key word there. It means short and sharp, and that's how we're getting this really funky sound. So one more time, we'll play those four bars through. This is the intro. Here we go. Two, three, four, oh, one. Rest, one. Rest, one. Rest, last time. Rest. There we go. That will be our intro. Okay, let's go into the verse then. So for verse number one, we're actually playing on the B flat still, where we left off in the intro. But now when bar six happens, the chord is changing slightly. So now I'm going to use three separate fingers. My second finger is going to do the fourth fret on the D string. First finger is going to do the third fret on the G. And second thing is the fourth fret on the B string. All together. So every time the B flat chord happens, the third fret, I'm going to do that with one finger again. And then let's just refer to it as C minor 7 flat 5. That would be in bar 6 and in bar 8. And notice that on this line, there is a repeat mark at the start of the line and at the end of the line. So the whole line is going to be played twice. So we already know the rhythm because it's the same from in the intro. So let's play through this straight away. Here we go. Two, three, four, oh, one. Rest, one. Rest, one. Rest, one. And round again. One. There we go. That would be that whole line of the verse round twice. So into bar nine, we're going to play that C sharp diminished chord two more times as before. But normally we would play it three times. So we've dropped out the third strum of the chord for this really cool little lick that's going to transition us into the chorus. So I've kind of mashed two guitar parts together here. The rhythm guitar playing those kind of funky strums on the chord is still continuing, but I've pinched this line from the other guitar part just because I think it's really a standout phrase and sounds really great. So let's talk about this then. So what we're going to do is have third fret to five. We're going to do that as a slide. That's on the D string. And I'm going to do that with my first finger. And then my first finger is actually going to kind of roll flat to get the fifth fret on the G string. So that's straight underneath where we arrived. And it's going back the other way. 
So I'm actually doing that with one finger. And then that same thing is going to jump up to the third fret on the A string. And when I arrive at the fifth fret again, I'm going to flatten it out to get the string underneath the D string and slide backwards. So it's all about what's happening with that index finger. So let's play those four slides in order. Three to five on the D string. Backwards on the D, uh, sorry, G string. Upwards on the A. Backwards on the D. Without stopping. That's what we get. Counting wise, with the chords beforehand, we get this. So it'd be one and two e and a three e and a four e and a one. So when we arrive at that last three, that is beat number one of bar ten. So that's quite complicated to count. I want to make you aware of it just so you've heard it once. But really, once you've heard that phrase a couple of times in the record and we're playing it now, it'll be all right. So here's bar nine again, really slow, uh, four beat counting. Remember, the first chord doesn't get played on beat one. It's on the and of one. So it'd be one and and so on. But we'll count it in probably three, four, oh, one, three. our transition phrase so you could leave that transition phrase out but it's nice to just try and get it if you can that's going to lead us into the chorus so let's play the whole of the verse we're going to play that line round twice and then we'll do that transition bar as well so i'm going to stop right on the first beat of bar 10 which is technically the start of the chorus so here we go the whole verse one two three four one Rest and one. Rest and one. Rest and one. Rest and again. Rest and again. And again. Bar A. Into bar nine. So up to speed. That transition phrase, the sliding phrase, is pretty damn quick. So you might have to work at that quite a while. Uh, but if it's really tricky, then of course you can leave it out. So let's have a look at the chorus. All right, so into chorus number one, we've just arrived at this third fret on the D string and the chord being played as a B flat. And then we've got these nice high phrases. So the first note that we've just arrived to is going to last for three beats. We've come off the slide. One, two, three. And then we've got this nice high phrase here. So I'm going to play my first finger again, pressed at the third fret. But this time, it's covering the G and the B. For the next, the five and the four, or four and five, depending on how we want to look at it. Five is on the G string. Second finger. Sorry, third finger and... Fourth fret on the B string, I'm going to do with my second finger. And the next one, the seven and the six, we're going to slide to. So we've got to there. And then without picking again, we're going to slide our hand. And then we're going to take that shape back to five and four. And we're going to have to pick that one. And that would be happening on beat four. Four, E, and a uh is how we'd count it because it's semi quavers. Four, E, and a, uh. And then once we arrive back at the five and four, that then sustains for another three beats. And we do the phrase again. Sorry, that's a bit messy. I'll do that again. And that rings for four beats. So bars 10, 11, and 12 put together would go three, four, oh, one, two, three. Two, three. Two, three, four. So we're playing really the same sliding phrase twice. Then when we reach bar 13, we're playing our two stabs of the B flat chord again. Again, first fingers laying down. And we've got that familiar sliding phrase that actually got us into the chorus. So again, we can do that with our first finger. That note then sustains into bar 14, and we have the same sliding phrases on the high strings. Two, three, into bar 16 there. And 
And the last line, bar 17, we're back to our staccato chords. Same rhythm as in the verse and the very intro. So let's play this whole line, 17 to 20. Here we go. Two, three, four, one. Rest and one. Rest and one. Rest and one. And that would wrap up chorus number one. So there's definitely some tricky parts there, especially with the slides. So there's going to be some slow, deliberate practice there to get all those slides right. But once you can, chorus two is going to be a lot easier because we're going to see a lot of that same stuff in the next chorus. All right, let's press on to verse number two. All right, so verse number two then with the lyrics, now don't get me wrong. Uh, we're playing the same staccato chords we were earlier, and we're going to finish this verse by playing a sliding phrase again to get us into the chorus, but this time around it's a little bit shorter. So we'll talk about that when we get there. So let's jump straight in by playing verse number two. We're going to play bar 21 to 28, just up to the stabs of the chord, and then we'll stop and talk about the sliding phrase. So here we go. One, two, three, four, one. <laughs> Rest and one. Rest and one. Rest and one. Next line. Rest and one. Rest and one. Final two. And then we've got our sliding phrase here at the end of bar 28. So for this one, we can do it with our first finger again. Three to five on the D string rolling that finger flat to get the five on the G string and sliding backwards. So it's the same idea as what transitioned us into the chorus number one, just shorter. There we go. So just last bar 28 into bar 29, the first bar of the chorus would be three, four, or one, rest. So there's a very quick rest in between. Rest. There we go. And that would put us into chorus number two. So I would suggest at this point, kind of pausing the video, rewinding a bit, watching anything back that you need to, and then trying to put together uh, with the song on your own. But at 75% or maybe 50% speed, you remember you can slow things down on YouTube. Try and put those initial sections together. And then once you can do that, come for chorus two, and then we can try and add that all together. So see you in chorus two. All right, back in the chorus for chorus two, then for some people are made for each other line. A bit like before, we've just arrived into the chorus via the slides. That first note in bar 29 is going to ring for three beats. And then we've got our high phrases again, same as before. Utilizing first finger flat on the threes. Third and the second finger for the next shape. And that's the shape that we're then just going to slide the fingers along and back down again. Then we hold it for three beats, do it again. Hold for four beats and back to our stabs of the chord in bar 32. So there's two of them. And then the next sliding phrase. Again, this is borrowed from the second guitar part that overlaps. So this one's particularly tricky because you're jumping all the way from third fret up to the 10th fret. But to actually execute the phrase itself, we're still using our first finger. So first fingers press flat at the 10th fret, sliding 10 to 12, finger rolls flat onto the G string, backwards this time 10 to 12 to 10. And now first fingers on the 8 to 10, again rolls flat, back to 10, so two halves of that pattern. That puts us into bar 33, and we got back down to our third fret for our original sliding phrases. And the last one here in bar 34, we chop the phrase off. So instead of going up and then coming back down, we don't. We just stay on the seven and the six. So that would be four E and no uh this time. 
So as soon as you play that seven and the six, we want to cut it short. So there's a definite break. And then we pick in bar 35, the long notes. And here's a break in the phrase instead of, that would be too quick. We want. That rings for four beats. And then in bar 36, we have the final three stabs to finish that line. So here's what we'll do before we uh, go any further onto the next line. Let's go and play bar 29 through to 36. Nice and slow. And in bar 29, I'm gonna pick the first note. If we had joined it to the section before, we would have got to it via a slide, but as we're not doing that, I'm just gonna pick it. Here we go. So 29 through to 36, slowly. Three, four, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, one. Two, three. Two, three. So hopefully you've been able to follow that along or maybe even play along with me. But if you haven't, stop it, rewind it, work on that bit. It's definitely the trickiest section of the song, these chorus parts. But if you're ready to, let's move on to the next line. So bar 37, extra line of him singing How About Us, the, uh, the reprise of the song. So 37 through 39 are the stabs, three stabs on each chord that we've already done. So let's just play that, starting on the C minor 7 flat 5. 1, 2, 3, Four, one. Rest and one. Rest and one. There we go. And straight on to the next line, we will arrive at the bridge in bar 40. I'll see you there. All right, so for this bridge part, probably my favorite part of the song, the chord now is being played a G minor. But we're not actually going to play this chord. We're going to play this nice little high uh, lick over that chord. So we're starting on the 11th fret. I'm going to do that with my second finger, 11th fret of the B string. Then my third finger is going to play the 12th fret of the G. And then I'm going to flatten out that third finger to slide two notes, two 12s, down to 10. Sorry, do that again. And then that note is going to ring. So we're going to have really slowly one E and a two, three, four. A bit faster. Two, three, four. That's what that first phrase would sound like. Then we arrive in bar 41, and we can actually keep our finger there on those tens. Same three stabs in the rhythm we had earlier. And then for this F minor, or F minor 7, I should say, at bar 42, my third finger is now going to stay on the 10th fret of the D string, but just stand up slightly to make room for my first finger to go at the 8th fret of the G, and then second finger to go at 9. So third finger's been doing a lot of the heavy lifting in this part so far. Three stabs on that chord. So if we just put bar 40, 41, and 42 together for a second, rewind back to that 11, here we go. Three... Four, two, three, four, one, rest and one. And then that would bring us into the last bar of this bridge, which is bar 43. So now third finger is going to lay flat, but it's going to do it at the 11th fret. Two stabs of the chord there. And you notice we have another sliding phrase, but everything's moved higher up the guitar because we're going to lead into chorus number three. And the key has changed, so that this phrase kind of sets that move up. So to do this, a bit like earlier on in these sliding phrases, first finger is going to do the heavy lifting. We're going to go six to eight on the D string. That finger then rolls flat to get the G string, but sliding backwards. So we've got jumping up to the A string, six to eight. And again, first finger lays flat to get the string underneath and slide backwards. As we land on this sixth fret here, we would then be on 
the first beat of the new section, which is chorus three. So let's just put bar 40 to 43 together, but I'm actually going to finish, when it comes to the sliding mm -hmm. phrase, I'm going to finish it. So I will finish on the sixth fret of the D string. Here we go then. So bar 40, really, really slow. Two, three, four. three for the key change okay i'll see you there so for chorus three then this key changed part we've done our sliding transition phrase and a bit like in the other choruses we've arrived mm -hmm. at that note then we've got some high phrases to play but instead of being threes and fours and fives like it was earlier in the song all of that stuff has been moved higher so now first finger is based at the sixth fret laying flat holding the g and the b then we go to a similar shape that we did before, so two separate fingers, eight and seven. Sliding that higher, so we do six, then the eight and the seven. Sliding that to the nine and the ten. And then this time, instead of going back down, we're going to go up, so I'm going to flatten out my third finger at the eleventh fret. It's a pretty quick move you have to make with your third finger. Let's do it really slow. And then that would ring. Then we do the similar phrase again. But this time we're going to pick 10 and 12. Sorry, 10 and 11. We can actually pick that and hold it for three beats before playing two 11th fret notes on the G string. So just bar 46 here would be one, two, three again one two three and in bar 47 we drop to the 10th fret and then the high phrases all go round again so let's just play 44 into 47 here we go and i'm going to pick the first note again three four oh one two three two three two three And then to get us out into bar 48, we're going to do that slightly phrase again. But the slightly phrase is different this time. So we're going to go 6 into the 8 and the 7, into the 9 and 10, like we did before via a slide. But we drop our fingers back and do like a double slide. is a really nice little change i know there's lots of variation in these things and you could kind of leave out some of these parts if they're tricky but it's really really nice soulful guitar playing so so really give it a good go so that's the end of bar 47 and then from 48 onwards we've got all the very kind of similar stuff if you compare bar 44 45 48 49 you see they're identical so let's talk about the changes here so bar number 50 that is a bar that's changed. So we've got two fingers on the 11 and the 10. And we're going to hold that for two beats. So it's one, two. Beat three, we're going to play the eighth fret of the G string. Then seven and six on the B. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, and... And then first finger flattens out on the 6th fret to get bar 51. So let's just put that together. Bar 50, bar 51. 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3. And on 40 and uh, we've got our slidey phrase from earlier. Double slide in there. And onwards, the line starts to be the same. It starts to repeat itself. So pretty much everything from here to the end is going to look really, really familiar. The song just kind of vamps around. Vamp just means keep repeating until the end. All right, so let's just talk about the instrumental, the play out, and then the ending of this song then. So the instrumental, we're playing the part from the chorus. There's just no singing. And then with the play out, 
They're just kind of vamping on the chorus. Vamp just means to repeat. They're repeating that same line, how about us, and some ad-libs, while the music pretty much stays the same all the way till the end. And then once we reach the last bars, 76 and 79, I've called it a fade-out, and I've put repeats around that line. But really, by the time the song gets there, it's pretty much done. And like we said, the song is fading out, and it's, it's gone away. So really, once you can play the last, the couple of first part of chorus three, which we covered earlier, you will be able to play everything to the end. But let's just talk about the uh, the play out and the fade out there. So if you compare those lines, this is starting from bar 68 on to the end, all of those lines are the same. So we won't play them all. What I'm going to do is just put the fade out uh, tab on the bottom there. This is bar 76 and 79. We'll just play through this line a couple of times just so you get the idea and then you can apply it to the lines above because that would be the same. So we will have to play the first notes for it, the ninth and the tenth fret. If once we played into this part, you would have just played them as a slide because we would have done this phrase here. I referred to this as like a double slide earlier on. So we would have just done that. But to start off bar 76 here, I'm actually just going to pick those first notes. Just for the sake of getting it started. Okay, here we go. So we'll play through the line once and then break it down. Two, three... Four, one, two, three, two, three, two, three, four, one, two, round again, two, and so on. Yeah. Okay, so bar 76 then all the way through to 79. Really, the only maybe that's different that you would have to watch out for is in bar, or leading up into bar 78, where we're going to do the sixes, sevens, and the nine. It just doesn't do the double slide there. And then we're going to pick the 11 and 10. Three beats. One, two, three, pick it again. And move it down. Okay, so we'll just do it one more time round, bar 76 through to 79, I'm just going to pick the first couple of notes to get it started. Here we go. Two, three, four, one, two, three, two, three, two, three, four, one, two, three, and so on. All right. So that is the end of the song then. Do your best with it. I know there's lots of intricate little slides and parts there. But you can hear the guitar part pretty well throughout this tune. So really have a listen to the original. Come back to this, rewind, watch things again. Any problems, any comments, any questions, then just let me know. Uh, but I hope it helped. hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you for the next one.